everyone. Today is Mother's Day. That's why today the bookworms are going to be reading "How to Raise a Mom" by Jean Regan, illustrated by Lee Wildish. Let's get into the book. Raising a happy, healthy mom is fun and important. Are you ready for some tips? Help your mom begin the day. How to start her morning? Let her sleep in. Kiss, kiss, kiss her awake. Open the curtains and say, "Rise and shine. Your breakfast is ready." When it's time to get dressed, give her choices. How to dress a mom? Not too serious. Not too silly. Not too sparkly. Perfect. A mom can forget things when she's in a rush, so pile it all at the door: snacks, toys, purse, keys, phone, shopping list, library books to return, letters to mail. Check, check, check. Errands are fun until you end up in a long line. If your mom starts to get cranky, surprise her with a snack and toy. If that doesn't work, act out a funny story. If that still doesn't work, say, "Thank you so much, sweet pea, for being so patient." When you're finally done. You might run into a friend right away. Plan a play date for your mom. Whisper, remember to share. Back at home, if your mom has work to do, tell her it's quiet time. Shh. Then start your own project. On regular days, moms tidy up without being asked. Today it's your turn. A happy, healthy, strong mom needs exercise. How to exercise with a mom? Take turns scoring goals. Pace against the wind. Hop like a kangaroo. Swing like a monkey. Slither like a snake. When your mom is tired. Show her the best ways to relax. How to relax? Do a yoga pose. Look for wiggly worms, slimy snails, and roly-poly bugs. Sing her a lullaby. Rockabye, mommy, sleeping under the tree. But what if the rain keeps you stuck inside? How to play with the mom inside? Plan an indoor beach day. Set up a zoo all across the floor. Soon it's time for dinner, and that means vegetables. If your mom's picky, try these tricks: broccoli. Pretend she's a dinosaur eating the trees. Roar, chomp, chew. Carrots. Make them into a heart. Ask which will you eat first, your peas or your beans? When it gets dark, your mom may want to skip right to bedtime stories, but tell her not yet. First, you have to put away your toys, scrub your face, put on your pajamas, brush your teeth, hop into bed. Now it's time for stories. If she asks one more, please say okay, but remind her to get to sleep on time. Then snuggle up and ask, "What was the best thing about today?" She'll snuggle back and say, "You." The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. 
If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.